Hi, I'm Alia. So in today's video I want to talk to you about an app which I developed for learning Slovene. So it's called Slovenian B and first I just want to show you how the icon looks on the Google Play Store and the App Store. So I made a shirt so I have like a memory of it. And as you can see this is Slovenia, co co Slovenia's coat of arms, there we go. And then the B, so since bees are hard working. And the little dragon which is kind of Ljub Ljubljana's dragon since I'm from Ljubljana and I, j I just thought it looked cute. So yeah, let's begin now. Um, I will just show you how the app looks, since if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure that you already know about this app, but I never, talk I never talked about it on YouTube, so I figured I should do that. All right, so now that I'm recording my screen, I can show you Slovenian B, right? We go here. And on the and Android version, the pet and the nouns are not there yet, because I'm still developing them. It's actually a lot of work, so just bear with me as I do all of this, but for uh, for Apple it's already there, so for iPhone, since I have an iPhone it's a bit easier for me to test everything that it's working, that's why the progress here is a bit faster, yeah? <laughs> so, okay, so first let's begin with the pet. So if I go to the pet, you will see you have numbers, fruits, colors, countries, yesterday, today, tomorrow is in past, present, future, kind of like that, and then prepositions, family, hobbies, animals and time, this is it what's there for now okay so if let's say we click on time right so you will have see on the top left yeah you have the beehive so here is where your score is so the number of correct answers then in the center is the question at which you are at then you have the three bees which kind of represent your life so if you um, or lives I guess how to say I don't know before I'm sure you know this concept. So if you lose the three beasts, right? So actually, I think in the fourth go, yeah, uh, then you kind of exit the quiz. Okay, it stops, the game stops. All right, and then here at the top you have, it's half past seven, right? So how would you then translate this to Slovene? You, you even have an image, so I drew all of this. You will see, I know I'm not the best at drawing, but I, I tried <laughs> to hopefully make it more fun when you are learning Slovene. So now, Uraje, right? And we said half past seven. So this would be Uraje Pol Osmi. Okay, so it's correct. So now at the top, see, I got a point and we are at our second question. So now it's midnight. Since the moon is there, we would say Polnocie. So this is how we say it in Slovene. But now what if I don't know how to say that it's one o'clock? I can say Uraje, is it the seat, right? So what if I try the seat, I confirm, and it gives me the color of the button red and it told me which one is correct, right? So hopefully this way you can learn, right? So ura je ena, now we know, right? Because before it was colored green, all right, and so on. Okay, and this is kind of how it goes, okay? And then, all right, I just moved a little because as you can see the sun is setting now and it, it was kind of messing the, the shot or how to say. All right, so where were we? So it's, we were going through the path, right? So as you can see, all these different colors, yeah? What it means is that based on your score, so where you see the little numbers, that is your score or high score, you get a different color, yeah? So maybe the first five have this color, the next, um, yeah, five, so from six to 10 have a different color and so on. And then the idea is that all of them, so all of these um, beehive things, I don't know what they're called actually, <laughs> they're supposed to be um, yellow color, all right? So, oh, I went to prepositions now. So, yeah, I kind of made it like that. So hopefully it's more fun. And then I guess we can go through one. Let's say, should we do fruit? Let's do fruit, why not? So if we, oh, let me just see what the high score was. Six. All right, let's try and get to 10, yeah? So an apple, we would say yaboko, right? Oh, at the moment there is no sound. I will add the sound with the next release because um, it's a lot of work and I just wanted to put this out as soon as possible. So keep an eye on updates. So when I add the sound. All right, so then we have hruška, pear, a pear, pear, I don't know. A strawberry, jagoda, okay. This would be sadje, right, fruit, okay. An orange, we say pomarancha. All right, we already have five points, okay, grapes. Grozdje, continue, uh -huh. jagode, strawberries, and we have all three lives, awesome. Um, hmm. Pears, hruške, okay, oranges, pomaranče, okay, let's just go a bit quicker, so jabuka, and then let's say these are jabuka, oh, we lost a life, right? 
Maybe it's Sadie, also no. Okay, we know it's Hushka now, right? And then let's say Pomeranche, just so that... See, now I have all three bees sprayed out. And now if I say Dom, so home, yeah? See, it just puts me to the end screen, right? And the new high score is 11. And as you can see, the there is, um, how to say, a bee... Um, not, not the bee, honeypot, there you go. The honeypot, which kind of gets filled based on how what your score was, yeah? So I thought that it would just make it a bit cuter. So yeah, I don't know, You can, but you can tell me what happens if you get 20 points, so highest score, what happens then? Okay, and now if we go back to the pet, see, the fruit uh, section is now colored blue. So now we are between 10 and 15, or yeah, how do I put it? So, all right, so this is it. And you will see some have photos, some don't. So let's say prepositions. I try to make it cute, so I tried to uh, draw a cat. So you can imagine if the cat, uh, or you can see, yeah, you can see if the cat is, oh, how did, the cat is next to the box. Okay, so machka je obškatli, right? So like this, zaškatlo, and so on, right? Vrškatli, all right. You, I'm sure you see how it goes. But yeah, let's say for uh, some sections, like tomorrow, there are no images because I just um, didn't really see the need since I hope that I hope that that's okay <laughs> so that it's still useful for you and then let's go back all right I'm back on this side so let's go let's see if the Sun can stay with us for this whole video all right and then we let, let's go to nouns okay so nouns were actually made for kind of one of you so Fernando hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right asked like about a year ago how to explain cases without question words so for people that maybe speak Spanish or some language where the cases are not there, right? They're not present. And I just kind of figured that maybe visually, right? So at least for beginners, how to imagine it. So if we go to the first case, we have yaboko, right? So yaboko means an apple. And in the bottom, you can see that it's first case, it's neutral noun or neuter, I, I cannot pronounce that word. So I think neuter is the correct word for neutral uh, when it comes to nouns. And the ending in the first case is O, okay? So, yaboko. And then, to je yaboko. So, in the first case, we're just talking about the apple. So, to je yaboko, this is an apple. That's all that's happening, right? Yaboko je na mizi. The apple is on the table. And so on. The same for mleko. So, I put neutral nouns. So, sonce has i at the end, but still it's a neutral noun. And then we have kava, so a feminine noun. Again, everything. I tried making it in a way that it's trills, okay? So you kind of go kava, to je kava, kava je na mizi. Kniga, to je kniga, kniga je na mizi. So hopefully you hear this I at the end, right? That then you kind of, it just kind of, how to say, gets under your skin, is that correct? I don't know, <laughs> so like that. And then sestra, and for masculine nouns as well. All right, and then the first case was yaboko, right? So then second case is yaboka, okay? So. Yaboko je na mizi, again the first case, yaboka ni na mizi, right? So if something is not there, we would use the second case, so yaboka ni na mizi. And again, mleka would be just the form of mleko in the second case, and then mleko je na mizi, again first case, and then mleka ni na mizi, right? So I kind of tried, um, how to say, you know if you cut something out with the scissors, right? That was kind of my idea so that it, it, I kind of put it away. Is, is that making sense? I don't know. So, sonca, right? Sonce na nebu. Sonca ni na nebu. Okay, so hopefully you can imagine it better or understand it better. All right, so kava ni na mizi. And then kave ni na mizi. So, if it's a feminine noun, in the second case, it will, it will have i at the end, right? Okay, so kave ni na mizi and so on. Kniga, knige ni na mizi. All right, so this was now second case. Third case, it's a bit different because it's hard um, to say, to give something to an object. Okay, so as you will see, here it's, it's only how it is in the third case. So, yaboku, mleku, soncu, kavi, knigi. But now, when I have sestri, right? So, sestra, sestra je na sliki. So, sister is on the photo. Second case, sestre ni na sliki. So, she's not. You, you can always check in the little bottom um, square thing, right? what case is it and what is the ending of the case so if you get confused maybe you are at sestra and asliki you're like oh no i clicked on the third case it's just to to hopefully yeah make it more like a drill all right so sestre and then 
Sestri tam knigo. All right, so with the third case is more so about the action of giving something. So to who you are giving, okay? So that's why for ses oh no, Sestri, for jabuko, mleko, you know, um, it's a bit hard to give something to an object, right? So that's why I kind of stayed away from, from it at this point because I don't ha really have any idea how to do it yet. Yeah, okay, <laughs> so I will do it soon, um, hopefully. And then we have the fourth case, so jabuko. Again, jabuko je namizi. Jabuka ni namizi, second case. And then jabuku, okay? Jabuko vidim namizi. So now for neutral now, right? We saw that in first and fourth case it's the same. So here are some eyes that I kind of drew. So jabuko vidim namizi, right? I see the apple on the table. So now, hopefully you understand if you are saying this kind of action that you are seeing something as in you, right? So not the apple, but you, what you're seeing. So then it's in the fourth case, okay? So jabuko, so who or what? Again, no, we are staying away from question words, right? So jabuko vidim namizi. And again, mleko, mleko, mleka, mleku, mleko vidim namizi, and so on. All right, and then, oh, actually let's put for book. So, um, or kava. So kava e namizi, kave ni namizi, kavi, and then kavo vidim namizi. So in the fourth case, if you are talking about something, right, you are saying, or no, not talking, if you are seeing something, you are telling me, oh, I see this on the table, you would say kavo, okay? Not kava, but kavo, since you are seeing that. Kind of, the action is coming from you, if that makes sense. So, all right, let's go to the fifth case. Um, so, o jabuku, 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 jabuku. All right, govorim o jabuku. So, I'm talking about an apple. So, then you would say o jabuku. Okay, so, again, mleko, mleko. Again, it's supposed to be drills. So I'm sure that you see by now. So, govorim o mleku and so on. Okay, and then the sixth case, z jabokom, jaboko. I think here I only again just put z. So, I will keep adding more and more as I get more time and more ideas. Yeah, so if you have any ideas, please let me know. Yeah, I would really appreciate it. So, uh, that's it. And then the coming soon section will be added soon. I will just m make some quizzes for the cases okay so that you can practice what you also learn so it's not just the drill all right and then all right and now let's go to the part where it's also in the android version so this would be the basics here you have the alphabet so the f so just the sounds actually this is this is my sister's voice yeah so i asked her to record it for me and here we have numbers nich, nich tri. Tri, and so on right so you have from zero to hundred Okay, so kind of looks like this. All right, and then we, ha I'm sorry, I keep looking at my phone, but it's a bit hard to keep looking at you. Really sorry about that. So colors. So as you can see, I created like a color palette thing. Yeah, so it makes it hopefully easier to remember. And then let's say Rosa. 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 Okay, and then um, Svetlo Modra, light blue. Svetlo Modra. Svetlo Modra, and so on. And there's also the metallic colors like Zlata, Srebrna and Pronasta. Okay, so that's it. Um, <laughs> question words. Gdo. Gdo. Kje. Kje. Zakaj. So who, where, why. Okay, so again, just so that you hear how it sounds, since I will also, as I mentioned, to the pet and to the cases, I will add sound as well as soon as possible. So, and then personal Ona, pronouns. Mi dve, mi. All right, so this all is there. I have the quiz. So for this quiz, if you press here on the top, dva in štiri deset. My sister really said this so slow, but dva in štiri deset. So dva in štiri deset, forty-two. Okay, <laughs> gosh, embarrassing. So forty-two. But this quiz is a bit different, so it just counts how many answers you got correct, right? And it tells you where you are. So that's it. Um, okay, I got this one wrong. And the numbers are so hard. And I see them. This okay, seventy-one. All right, and so on. Okay. And then, oh, all right, we went through the quiz. And then the last one, we have the verbs. So let's go to the verbs. Again, practice verbs. I will actually make a video about it. It's the 25 verbs, which I believe everyone learning Slovene should know, okay? So these 25 verbs are actually here. Um, so you can practice them in the quiz, but I will make a video about it so it will make more sense. So here we watch, so three females, we, this would be Meg gledamo, so we watch. They wish, so two females, oni dve, želita. Okay, you have, so vidva, and then imeti is to have, right? And what I mean by 
two males or mix okay it just means that there's a mixed group of females and males okay so if it's two that we're talking about two so you have two males so a boy and a boy or a boy and a girl okay at least one of the genders needs to be present okay so that this makes sense or how to say that it's correct okay so vidva imata right midve uh, we go greva all right that's it okay okay so now we are at the last part of this video i guess or um the showing of slovenian bf so this is list of verbs yeah so here you have a list of over 150 i think it's 156 I think so um, conjugated verbs okay so for each verb I conjugate it so let's say delati to work you have it in present past future and imperative imperative I still need to add because there's more uh, how to say versions or how, for more personal pronouns you have this okay so delay work okay and then in the present you have yas delam I work ti delash and so on for all 16 personal pronouns all right and then you have the past, Yasem Dilao, Yasem Dilala, if it's a girl saying, right? Tisi Dilao, Tisi Dilala, Onya Dilao. And then we have the future, On Budilao, Ona Budilala, and so on. All right, awesome. And then if we go back, um, yeah, you have really many. And then let's say you want to search for a verb. So let's say to travel. So you need to search in English, okay? I don't know if you want to also search in Slovene. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, let's just say to travel. So to travel, potovati. So here I can say, yas potujem. So I travel or I am traveling. So why here you have two translations is that in Slovene we use just one verb for it, right? But depending on the context, we can figure out if it's I travel or I am traveling. Okay, so that, just so that you know what's happening here. And again, you have for all of them and future and so on. Okay, so yeah, and let's say. Okay, and if we just put a couple of letters, so we have um, to read, to breathe, to speak, and so on. All right, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So, okay, I'll just stop recording now. Okay, so now I'm looking at you, not the um, my phone the whole time. And yeah, that's all I wanted to show you today. So just the app for learning Slovene, Slovenian B. I really hope that you liked it. And if you have any ideas what I should add to the app that you would like to see, Please let me know since I'm doing this for you, so it makes it easier for you to learn Slovene. And I will add the audio for sure, since I know it's super important to have it. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll, I guess I'll see you in my next video. Until then, ciao ciao!